Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and this video is about making dichotomous keys. A dichotomous key is a tool that scientists use uh, to help them identify unknown organisms from a pool of known organisms. And they do this by answering a series of paired yes or no questions. There are two major types, branched and numbered. In branch, you're given a question and you have to follow a no or yes path, which may lead you to an identification or to another question. And you follow that path until you get to an actual identification. In a numbered dichotomous key, you have a set, you have pairs of statements. And so for instance, you have an A and a B, and there's a one that has fins, and you may get a instruction to go to another statement or no fins, and it actually gives you an identification. So we're gonna be looking today at how to make a numbered key. The first step is just setup. If you can get it set up to begin with, it makes everything so much easier and you're highly likely to make an excellent key that will help anybody identify an unknown organism. So there are a few steps. First, you need to figure out how many organisms you have and subtract one, and that'll give you how many paired statements you need. So I have a set of organisms here, rusty millipede, bumblebee millipede, eastern liver grasshopper, Asian, whoop, Asian lady beetle, and Carolina tiger beetle. These will be my examples for this video. So since I have five bugs, I'm gonna have four paired statements. So I set that up, 1AB, 2AB, down through 4. Then I'm going to set up a has or does not have um, for each one because basically we're differentiating these based on their physical traits. So they either are going to have that trait or not have that trait. So I have has or no next to each set of statements. And of course, you can reword these as necessary as you make your key, but basically it's got it or it doesn't have it. And then the last thing you wanna do is next to statement 1A has, and of course you're gonna leave some space to write whatever trait it is. But at the end, your instruction will be go to two. And on 1B, your instruction is gonna be go to three. So you don't wanna start identifying right out of the box you want to break it into two groups. And that is what step two is. Step two is you're going to list the traits of these organisms. So there are traits that are good to be used for uh, dichotomous keys, and then there are some that are not so great. So good options are physical features, um, things that are objectively true, things that are specific, especially when it comes to size, and uh, something that's true most or all of the time, no matter if that organism is an adult or a juvenile. Bad choices include um, their location, if you're describing a behavior because that organism may not be uh, showing that behavior at the time. A classification, because classification is just a grouping based on a set of known traits but if the observer doesn't already know those traits, they can't use a classification to help them separate in the key. And it can't be subjective. So you can't use things like pretty or ugly or gross. Um, it needs to be something objective that's true. Red, spiky, that kind of thing. The key is to assume that most, whoever is using the key, sorry, has very little prior knowledge beyond what's right in front of their face. So actually, let's just show an example here. Um, this Carolina tiger beetle, you would not say it is on a stone path. That's location because somebody might come across this bug and they're not on a stone path. They're on a dirt path, so that doesn't help them. Some people may find this very lovely, like me, and some people may find it very ugly and scary. That's subjective. We can't use that. Um, uh, it has pretty large jaws, but, you know, maybe some of those other ones do too. So, uh, large jaws isn't great, but if you say jaws that are as long, ha like as long as the rest of its head, 
That is objective. So, those are some examples. <clears throat> the next step is to choose one broad trait to separate your huge set into two groups, and then you'll fill in step one. So, for instance, I've got three insects. This guy, this guy, this guy. But insect is a classification. Sorry. So Asian lady beetle, Carolina tiger beetle, and uh, eastern level grasshopper are insects. But we can't use insects because that's a classification. But one of the traits that all insects have is that they have six legs. So I can say has six legs, go to two, or does not have six legs. And that automatically breaks us into like the millipede group and the insect group. Then... So I'm going to keep my insects, set those guys to the side. So now I have three that I need to differentiate between. So now I'm going to choose another trait to divide this group. Um, so this Carolina tiger beetle is the only one that is metal and shiny. These two actually, have, even though they don't look alike, if you said something like black spots, well, they both have black spots. If you said orange has orange on it. They both have orange. They both have white and black. Um, so, but this one has a bright shiny, uh, has bright shiny coating. So I'm going to use that. It has a metallic shine to pull it out. So if there's one that pulls it out, and then you will write the name Carolina Tiger Beetle. And then fill in the other one, be no metallic shine. So if there's still two, then you'll write, go to whatever the next empty step is, which in our case is go to four. And basically, step five, you're just going to continue doing that. You're going to continue choosing traits. You're going to continue filling in those paired statements until all the organisms have been identified. And finally, you're going to go through and check yourself and get your key peer reviewed by somebody else because that's the whole point is to make a key that someone else can use to help identify organisms. So I made this final one um, and shows, again, has six legs or does not have six legs. So let's use uh, this one. All right, let's imagine that we don't know what this is. Uh, does it have six legs or, okay, does not have six legs? I'll go to three. Has black and yellow stripes? Nope. No black and yellow stripes. Uh, so this is a rusty millipede. So my key worked to identify this one. All right, what about this guy right here? Have six legs? Yes. Go to two. Has a metallic shine or no metallic shine? No metallic shine. So I'm going to go to four. Four. Has hard shell-like wings? Nope, this one barely has wings at all. They're like short and stubby. Has no hard shell-like wings. Eastern lover grasshopper. So this key works. I would do this for all my organisms just to be sure. And there you go. And if you give it to a friend and they have a hard time, then you know you can tweak your characteristics. So this is a quick, easy way to help you make numbered dichotomous keys to help people identify unknown organisms.